Hi everybody and welcome back to The Average. Today we have not one, not two, but three books that we will be painting over today. I paint over movie cover books because I hate movie covers on books and I think if you don't like me painting on books then uh, you should probably leave because it does get worse and I've said this time and time again but yet you guys still managed to make your way here. I've never done a trilogy before so let's see how I do. I really want to make sure that it works out in a way that they will look good together like these three books do and I want to take you guys along for the ride so let's get going but Steph didn't you already do um okay didn't I already do this cover yes yes I did I painted on this book cover and uh, I to be honest I wasn't totally happy with it so when I saw that the new movie was coming out I knew it was a good opportunity to revisit this and try to make Something a little bit better. I did like the little letters on this, but in the end I didn't really like it that much. I wasn't super happy with it, so we're just gonna do this. And uh, also it wasn't really a book movie cover, so I felt a bit bad for doing it. I just had this little fake cover put on it, and I'm gonna try again with a new collection. Because this is three books, I'm gonna talk about the book first, then the painting, and why I've chosen to do what I've done in each composition and uh, yeah, hope you guys stick along for the ride. I thought I'd read the blurb of each book, so this one is To All the Boys I Loved Before, the first book. Here is the blurb. They aren't love letters that anyone else wrote for her. These are ones she's written. Ones for every boy she's ever loved, five in all. When she writes, she can pour out her heart and her soul and say all the things that she would never say in real life because her letters are for her eyes only. Until the day her secret letters are mailed and suddenly Laura Jean's love life goes from imaginary to out of control. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the, the story. It's a really good book. I really enjoyed that one. And uh, I decided what I wanted to do is because we spend a lot of time in Laura Jean's bedroom in the book, I wanted to sort of paint what I think her desk would look like and like the quirky things or the quirky style that she might have on her desk. And it's sort of similar to the way that the books look a little bit, the movie covers for the books look a little bit anyway, because I think the movies are actually really good. I definitely enjoyed the first movie. Like I said, I saw the movie first before I actually read the books because that tends to happen sometimes when you don't really know about a book if a movie comes out you're like okay I'll, I'll give that a watch and then you realize oh okay it's a book so I've that's my process there <laughs> so I'm painting um the desk and trying to keep the colors kind of different to what I'm used to doing I've done greens and yellows here and I'm trying to paint all the intricate things on top of this desk the problem I keep finding with these book paint overs is that the covers are super shiny on some of them. So I don't think I did a very good job of trying to get rid of that in the beginning of this particular book because it kept building up and then when it was drying it was slightly peeling a little bit and I found that I had that problem for this book and I kept running into it. So next time that I do the next book I really scratched the surface of it completely to make sure that I wouldn't run into this problem again. It's very different painting on books than it is on paper. I think people don't really appreciate that. If you've ever tried to paint on a surface that isn't really porous and wanting to absorb the paint, it's difficult. The paint moves differently. It doesn't really tend to blend out. It doesn't move as smooth as it could do on paper and I really noticed that doing these ones. I spent a long time painting these three pictures. You'll see in the third one that is really my biggest struggle, but that one is coming up. This one was kind of fairly easy. I was fresh to it. I was ready to go. I was excited. So this one was kind of a breeze to get through. I thought it was quite interesting composition that I chose, and I hope that you guys agree. But on its own, maybe it's not as interesting as it is when it combines with the three other paintings. But I think I really like the way that this one turned out. I was again trying to be a little bit impressionistic in my style so you can see that some of the perspective and stuff is slightly askew and a little bit quirky and I think that style translates through all of these covers and I think it really works. I don't know why, I just really enjoy that kind of blocky 
rough textured shapes and things like that on my paintings. I hope that you guys agree. So to all the boys I loved before it was a really good book. I really liked it and I thought the characters were really um, cute and interesting. Obviously all these books are a little bit um, YA, young adult, contemporary, so they're not too serious in their um, content. They're just a bit of fun really, like there are some serious subjects touched upon but nothing like too deep at all. So this is kind of a fun and relaxing read if you guys are just a bit tired of reading high drama or, or stuff, you know, that's uh, really takes a lot of uh, emotional energy to read, then maybe you could give these a go. I would definitely say that the first book is the best book in my opinion. I think the other two books, whereas they're nice, I think they're more dedicated to just stretching the story out a little bit and because the characters are so good, you enjoy hearing more about them and their lives. In the first book, she obviously gets together with a man. <laughs> I don't know why I said that so funny. She she gets together with someone because it's a, a romantic uh, book. And then in the next book, we kind of see that story continue. In the first book, it's kind of fun because she has all these letters that she was supposed to keep private. And then obviously they get delivered somehow. So you have that mystery of like, who found her letters? How did they get delivered to all these boys? And also you have like the drama of one of the letters being delivered to actually her sister's boyfriend. So it creates this really awkward situation that could come to light and uh, we throughout the book are kind of seeing where that would head. Um, her sister's gone off to university away from home so it's kind of her and this the brother, the brother, the sister's boyfriend by themselves and then she also gets together with another guy and pretends to be with him because to kind of push away her sister's boyfriend a little bit and show that she's totally over it but it's all pretend and in the end you know it's this big story of like twists and turns and I just think it's really interesting and uh, I really like this book I think because it has that hook of the letters and all these things happening you want to know you want that gossip you're like oh what's going to happen what, what conversations is she going to have with these boys it's going to be really awkward so you, it has that pull to it and then steadily as the second book comes into light it's more about her in her relationship with who she ends up with and then another boy comes into picture from the letters that was sort of mentioned in the first one but you don't really see him and um, then she becomes romantically interested in him and it's kind of like um, a love triangle so you're interested in that fact. I'll just read the blurb for you for the second book as we are coming up to it. So this is the blurb for the second one. Um, the second book is called P.S. I Still Love You. I don't really want to say maybe the blurb because I'll cut out bits in case you haven't read the book or the movies so that it becomes a little bit more mysterious. But when another boy from her past returns to her life, Laura Jean is, has feelings for somebody else and they send a return. Can a girl be in love with two boys at once? That's kind of the whole uh, no tone of the story of the second one and I think you would agree that it's a little bit tired. We obviously, we've seen love triangles and you always know who the person's going to end up with. It's so predictable. But yeah, you still like it. It's still comforting. It's still a nice, relaxing read. I did enjoy reading that one. I think it was kind of slow in parts. They have this whole thing where she goes to do a sort of internship, I guess you would call it, or something to do with uh, trying to get into college. She goes to an old folks home and spends a lot of time there working with the elderly and stuff and I felt like that sort of area it was a little bit tired and boring. Also there's this whole thing with the ex-girlfriend of her current boyfriend and how she deals with that which I think is obviously quite relatable to teenagers but in the end I, I didn't really find it that interesting like the first book has all these intrigues of the reactions of the letters and who sent them and stuff but then the second book is just like oh who's she gonna end up with and it's kind of obvious who she's gonna end up with but yeah still a nice read still comforting and I'm I'm probably just seeing as I'm on a roll with this I'm gonna talk about the third book the third book is 
what I would say milking the story completely. I think the publishers of this book and the author, the publishers um, saw how well the book did and were like, yeah, write more of these. And I think the author was obviously very attached to the characters, so she wrote it again, another book, to continue the story. And not a lot happens in this book. I would say it's a bit of a non-story, to be honest. It's kind of obviously about Laura Jean branching out and growing up a lot, and uh, that's pretty much the whole story. (laughs) Nothing that exciting happens, and I kept waiting for that moment where it's like, okay, now she's going to do this, and something big is going to happen, but it never really does. It's kind of just like, and then she goes here, and then she goes there, and then does she get into this college? Does she get into that college? And how are they going to be together if she gets into college? And it's really like, okay... There's nothing, there's no high drama to it. You're just watching these characters from a distance, basically. And I think it is enjoyable to an extent. It's nice because I keep going on about the characters, but Laura Jean is such a nice character. And you do, you are invested in her. And I think that is like the strength of the author. It just shows how relatable and how nice she can make a character. So you you care enough to read, or I cared enough, to read three books about this character even though the whole plotline and the storylines of the book steadily get slightly more boring as we go on. So this is the first book cover and I've never had a video where I talk about three books at once so it's kind of interesting to see um, these three paintings together. I hope that you guys enjoy seeing them. But yeah, this was the first cover and I wanted to make it quite plain, even though I think the first book is the best. I wanted to sort of ramp up the drama on the cover as we go. So this one's quite casual, the the colours are quite light, the feeling and the mood of the piece is quite airy and relaxed. So on to the next one, I wanted to create a bit of an image in this that is like a scene. So each book cover is kind of a scene from within the book. I really enjoy just making the 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 book covers just be like a background loosely painted. I'm really liking that style. So I wanted to do that for these three books. So in this book, they mention a old tree house um, that they all used to hang out with when they were young. So Laura Jean and her group of friends um, And some, like I said, um, the ex-girlfriend of her now boyfriend, they all sort of hung out at this tree house and it's mentioned a lot and they've buried like a time capsule under it and all these things and they head back there because the house is being sold so the tree house is going to eventually be torn down. And I was thinking like what would it be like to have just a scene inside a tree house at night where it's sort of like lit nicely by a lamp and you can see that people have put down a rug and hung up different things to make it more welcoming, maybe taken an old sheet from their parents' house and stuff like that. And I thought it would be really cute. I think this one, even though maybe it's my least favourite one of the three, I think this was the easiest to do. Maybe that's why it's my least favourite because I'm not super proud of it, but I do like it. I think I've reverted a little bit back to my old colour scheme that I've been talking about with you guys where I've done this whole purple and orangey blue thing. Yeah, and I'm a bit uh, tired of it. <laughs> but I, I did it because I've kind of fallen into that. And I think as well, these books, they do give off that vibe of these purples and blues. So I think the colour scheme does work in this scenario. Maybe it's not that it always works, but in this one it does. I wanted to talk about a little bit about the movies as well. I know that doesn't really make sense considering we're getting rid of movie covers, but I do really enjoy the movies and I think these books kind of have this thing about them that they are made to be movies. They work really well in that format. So I think the movies are really good. I really like the acting and the characters in them and I can't wait for the third movie to come out. It's on Netflix, I don't know if everyone has Netflix, but if you do, then I would definitely check these out. Maybe it's not your cup of tea, it's not for everyone, it is young adult, romance, contemporary, so it's not really like crazy good, you know, it's not winning any Oscars, but it's still just a nice like chill out thing to watch, a little bit funny, a little bit, you know, I just find them relaxing and comforting, I think, and I think that is the general tone of the book, for sure. So we're on to the third book and um, I'm going to read the edited blurb 
edited by me because I don't want to ruin stuff. Life is good for Laura Jean. Her dad is finally getting married and her sister Margot is coming home for the summer. The change is looming and Laura Jean can't ignore the big life decisions that she has to make. Where she goes to college for one because that would mean leaving her family and possibly the boy she loves behind. When your heart and your head are saying two different things, which one should you listen to? And that pretty much sums up the whole book. Like, there's nothing really more to it than that. <laughs> I really thought in the book that she would go to Korea because in the advert for the movie, it starts out that she's in Korea. So I was like, okay, this will be really interesting because her mother is Korean, but the mother has died. So she's probably like trying to reconnect with her roots and stuff like that. And I thought that was really interesting. And I thought that was like going to be a really nice thing to read about, like her discovering like more about her culture by being in the country that her mother came from. So I was really looking forward to reading that, but actually that wasn't in the book at all. It is mentioned that she's going to Korea by the end of the book and it signaled that that's kind of like her final growth into herself. So I wanted to do a plain window if you guys can make that out at the moment because this painting was so difficult. I decided to do a painting window that she's going to Korea and that is like her final journey to becoming a woman. Okay guys it is now the next day and um, I'm gonna tackle this because it's really bothering me. I don't know what happened there it was like going well and then steadily went worse and worse so I'm gonna try and do something today. Um, I think I obviously put too much gouache on because it's kind of cracking in areas where I haven't really seen that before because um, usually I finish the book and it doesn't really crack like that so I'm wondering how to tackle that today but I am gonna make I'm gonna make this look good I swear I'm gonna try. Um, there's also like a hair that's dried into this I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm like, what? Why? Where? <laughs> How? Where did that come from? So, can I finish this? Let's see. Let's find out. Um, you'll probably skip to the end and see if I do, because that's generally what people do, but please stay and watch. My struggle is real. I'm struggling for your entertainment. So if you know me and my channel, you kind of know that I do a lot of paintings quite quickly, and this painting took hours i did them all on friday evening and then this one just i couldn't get right i don't know if i was tired or it's because the smoothness of the plane you know connect not connecting with the jelly gouache it was so difficult so i even went back to it the next day as you saw in that clip and i did this this morning and i think i do get there in the end but oh it was difficult this was the one i was most looking forward to painting because i had this real solid idea of having you know just the plane window and Lara on her journey, but no, it was tough. I do really like the way that it turned out, but like I said, I had that difficulty of just trying to smooth out the paint on top of this kind of texture of the book cover, which is always difficult to draw on, paint on, sorry. And uh, yeah, it, it was frustrating. I did enjoy it in the end, as I was slowly seeing, you know, the, the light through the end of the tunnel I don't know if that's the saying <laughs> the light at the end of the tunnel and then I started to enjoy it but it was a struggle at first I wasn't sure if I wanted to make it blue if I was gonna try and make it gray like a normal plane or if I just because I thought that this was a really good mood that the sun is coming up in the distance and we're over the clouds and then on the plane it's all dark and you kind of have that emulated feeling of loneliness but also discovery and adventure and that was hard to get done. <laughs> that was hard to convey in a piece. So I was trying to smooth everything out and try to make the window look like a window rather just than a weird egg shape. And I think in the end it does look cute. It could have been better. I know that in myself. Like I know I could have done better. But at the end I, I do like it. And I think for me it's like I've learned a lot of lessons through doing this picture. And I do really like it. And I think it does... It, it, it's, it says a lot about the book, I hope. I hope that you guys agree with what I've chosen to do on all these covers. We'll see them in a second side by side and I think they work a lot better. So I was just going in and trying to do all these little fine details to show that it is a plain window. It's really weird because it has like this smooth inner circle and then there's a dark outer circle that's like a thin line and then there's the light hitting the actual plain bit where it's like highlighted so I was trying to copy that and uh, I think in the end it does look like a plain window so that's good at least. I hope that you guys agree that it does look like a plain window 
and I was just going over the clouds and trying to finalize all the little details of this one and then in the end I just uh, yeah I just said that's it I, I can't work on this too too much if I keep going then I might ruin it more so I decided to just let this one be and I think I do like it now that I've let my eyes rest away from it I do enjoy it so these are the three paintings together and I really like the way that they look side by side I think they really help amp up each other and push each other up I'm just going over all the details now that I have them side by side to try and make sure that they look like a collection like they are done by the same artist kind of thing so doing all this outline in this dark navy blue and trying to connect each piece to the other it was really nice to do and once I did this I could see that it was working and they did look good as a as a whole picture together going over with this unicorn milk that I have. I have a video on this stuff if you want to hear about it but it's basically like this iridescent paint and I wanted to do like little sparkly dots that go through one picture to the next to the next and I think those really help tie them all together and I think it looks super cute too and it's kind of quirky and sparkly like the books are you know this romantic vibe so I really like those final little details, I think they added something to them and that is it. That is the end of this process. We're going to take this tape off for some peel porn and uh, enjoy this. The reason that I don't do the spine is because I don't really like writing the titles across the top but if I don't do the spine then I can see what the title is on the side and I think it works best that way. I would like to say that I also am going to put a layer of matte varnish down on all these pictures but I want to do that over on my TikTok because I like to wait a while because I'm a bit paranoid that the, the paintings aren't going to be fully dry. So I'm going to do that over on my TikTok if you would like to see it, it's in the link down below um, so you can catch this, it's quite satisfying. And yeah, that's the final piece. I'd like to give a shout out to all my patrons, if you would like a shout out at the end of my videos or also other options like joining the book club or having early access to my videos then please check out the link down below for Patreon. My patrons are Keely, Lamon, Luzernia, Luke, Ilira, Hannah, Ace Tubulum, Jacqueline, Heidi, Steph, Eva, Lucille, Erica, Megaya, Tim and Charlotte and Alex. Thank you guys so much without your support I don't think I would be where I am so thank you so much. That is the final book cover, um, please give me a like down below if you liked how they turned out and it would really help my channel if you left a comment, but no pressure. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time, bye!